guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is monosi also known as monosi it's vegan today we have this pizza from woolworths it's a vegan pizza that i have tasted before but felt like it lacked a lot of flavor so today we're gonna add some flavor to this pizza and make it a staple in your freezer the flavor of this pizza is falafel and a veg i thought i could spice it up and make it my own pack it full of flavor so it meets my standards let's start with the pesto i'm gonna make it in a pestle and mortar but you can absolutely make it in a food processor so now we have three garlic cloves I'm gonna smash the garlic up first before I add the basil and all the other ingredients because you don't want to bruise your basil too much and in turn makes it like a black pesto so you don't get the beautiful green color. So I'm gonna start by blowing at the garlic, swirl it around, and there is my garlic all mashed up. And then to it, I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast to get cheesy flavor i know pesto usually has um might have added a lot of nutritional yeast there i know pesto usually has nuts in it particularly pine nuts but i am skipping the pine nuts pine nuts are expensive and i don't mind my pesto without nuts this is for pizza we're not making pasta pe pesto pasta pasta pesto you know what i mean we're not making that so it's fine perfectly fine this is where we at so far i think i'm going to add more basil and to help this go quicker i also add some so, which is going to start bringing out the water in this basil. Look at that. Now we're going to start adding in the olive oil. If you want to substitute olive oil because it, it can be a bit expensive, you can. But olive oil also adds a lot of flavor as compared to other oils and I prefer the olive oil flavor in this and then I'm gonna add black pepper lots of it let's go in with the olive oil I'm gonna put in a little bit at a time because yes you can always add more but you can never take out that's my motto look at the beautiful green color needs a bit more oil to loosen up now I'm gonna add some lemon juice squeeze that in other hand to catch the pips I think that is enough look at that pesto done so quick I'm gonna paste the water. Very traditional if I'm mixing it for myself. Even if you want to do this in a blender, I would advise you to start by blending your garlic first so that that is pulverized before you start adding your basil because you do not want to have your basil in the food processor for too long and then it starts to turn black and it doesn't look as beautiful and vibrant as we have over here so i'm slicing up some button mushrooms that i'm gonna put on there i think i'm gonna cut these mushrooms into quarters because they're very big and now i have a few olives here that i'm also gonna add to this pizza to get 
some saltiness on there. These are pitted olives, so I need to get the pips out. Chop them up into small bits. I have got an oven tray here, and I'm going to put the pizza in it. There you have the pizza. This is what it looks like. It's so hot right now in South Africa that the pizza has already started to defrost. So now I'm going to sprinkle the things that I have made onto the pizza, starting with the mushrooms. The umami flavor for this pizza will be welcomed. I love Woolworths. They give us so many vegan options here in South Africa. They always give us something to be excited about, which I truly appreciate. Now I'm adding my olives onto that. Of pizzas. That's easy. A mayonnaise based sauce. Now we drizzle the beautiful green pesto. Dollop it all over. Now I'm going to add something that I feel like people leave out, even restaurants, on vegan pizzas that's very important. It's salt. Vegan pizzas are not seasoned enough because when you use veggies, they have a lot of water content. So you need salt to bring back the flavors that might get watered down with all of the water content now be careful not to add too much salt but you do need salt with all these veggies now i'm gonna pop this beautiful pizza in the oven for the package says for 14 to 16 minutes but i'm gonna keep on checking it in between because remember not all ovens are the same Now, let's make the sauce that we're going to drizzle of the top of this pizza. It has vegan mayonnaise. Get that in here. Some dried Italian herbs. Squeeze of lemon. Some salt. Seasoning is very important in cooking. Seasoning all the stop of the step of the way is also very important. A drizzle of water to loosen it up. And now I'm gonna bring that together. Whisk it. Whisk that until it's a smooth. Oh, I forgot the sugar. Trust me in this. A little bit of sweetness to this not a lot of sugar it's like that's a pinch of sugar i'm gonna add more mayonnaise and then stir that in imagine if this is too much mayonnaise and then if you add more water i think that's a perfect consistency look at this guys the crust is so crispy it always comes out so crispy look at that i'm gonna add some more pesto to this guys i love flavorful food i don't play with flavor i need the flavor to punch me in the face and that's what i didn't get from this pizza the last time i had it so that's what i'm compensating for now let's get the Pizza will slice this crispy baby up. She's very crispy. Now the crust of this pizza is not like authentic pizza crust. It doesn't have chewiness. It's more like flat flatbread pizza. I'm fighting with this crustiness. And then I'm gonna drizzle the mayo based sauce that we made that I spilled? No. You gotta be careful with this one as you don't want it to make your pizza soggy. 
a little bit goes a long way. There we have the pizza. Now look at this beauty of a pizza. Look at that. Packed in lots of flavor and it's gonna hopefully taste delicious. Just look at it. Look at it. Which slice is the best? I think this one. Look at that. Let's taste. Mmm. This pizza is now so flavorful. I can taste the garlic, the pesto. It even brings out the flavor of the falafel, which I feel like it lacked the first time I tasted this pizza. I am loving it. The sauce that I put on over the top, the mushrooms, the bites of olives that you get in this, this is superb. The crust is very crispy as you can see, even when I hold it, it's not flopping, which is delicious. I hope you go get a frozen pizza that you might not like yet and spice it up however you like. You could add some chili oil, whatever it is that you feel like needs. I love how I adjusted this pizza rush to your nearest Woolworths get this pizza which is very inexpensive it's about 80 rand for a pizza and use my tips and tricks to spice it up now thank you for watching this video I hope to see you again next time and bye to come off easily this one is off Pasta, pesto, pasta, pasta, pesto. Hey. Waiting for pizza. Waiting for pizza. If I can get it open. Oh.